Hello and welcome back to Crypto Schnack. My name is Marian and I'm your host today and welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I welcome you. Thank you for finding me and watching my video. And if you're coming back to my video and have already subscribed, thank you for your support. And if you like my content, do consider subscribing to my channel. And in the background, as always, we follow the construction side of Giga Austin in Texas. And thank you as always to Jeff Roberts for his drone footages today at a rainy day in Texas. And um, while we are checking out what's happening in Giga Austin, I will dive with you into a few news um, that are considered worth talking about. So one of the first one is the Tesla Roadster. It has been pretty quiet about this product because we all know the product will take some more time to be actually produced and delivered um, but um, when we look at the um, specs and we look at the um, yeah options um, people will have when buying a tesla roadster um, there will be more possibilities to change colors to which one you like and there was a recent tweet when someone was um, posting a color and um, Elon Musk stated that um, there will be more options with the Tesla Roadster as with the common products like Tesla Model Y, 3, X, S. So these are all um, um, some offers they will do with the Tesla Roadster. I do really like that because when people really spend so much money on a car like that, they should have the options to um, consider more colors as with the current products um, they are selling. So um, just for those who have not followed Tesla for a long time, Tesla had a time when you had you would be able to choose more and more colors, but they have actually reduced that to the minimum because um, it was a challenge to do um, a lot of colors um, while ramping up production. Um, this were issues as well when they were ramping up the Model 3 production and they ha were burning money every single day. And so it has really helped to make production more efficient and better. Um, but I think it is a good decision to do change that um, with the Tesla Roadster in the future. Another news comes from Germany. In Germany, we do have Giga Berlin really 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 working well in the um, construction progress um, nevertheless we have um, saw we have seen um, a lot of news about the battery production that will happen with the new batteries from tesla um, in giga berlin um, and actually surprisingly the um, local authorities slash government has stated there were no applications yet for a battery production so um, it will be interesting to see when Tesla will do that. Um, as we know that Tesla is hiring already people for this um, for this area of um, products. Um, so um, it will be exciting to see um, when they do that. And we know in Germany, myself as a German knows it as well much better. Um, there are so many regulations and um, people are able to demonstrate, uh, call out uh, companies. Um, so it will be much more challenging and it has been challenging um, so far. But I think um, they will get the um, application done and they will get as well the yes from the authorities as the German government is really trying to support any kind of company that is transitioning the world to um, new energy, alternative energies and batteries are one of this way to do that. As we have seen on Friday, um, even though the Thanksgiving day was a break on Wall Street, um, we have seen some trading on Friday and actually Tesla has been rising further and it has been um, close to $597. The 600 has not broken yet, um, but um, with that um, gain on Friday, um, actually it is now bigger than Berkshire from Warren Buffett. So we do see that Tesla is now on the fifth spot and I think it's the sixth uh, biggest company in the United States. Um, so 
it is gonna get crazy once um, they get included into the S&P 500. Um, I think there is a bit more space. I haven't checked which one is the next one, but as we have Apple, Microsoft, Facebook and Amazon, um, I think Tesla will take some more time to close the gap to those um, four biggest companies in the world. So um, for the last news, I'm talking about the Tesla Semi. Why do I do that? Because um, the Tesla Semi um, has been, um, yeah, there has been some criticism about it because um, people say, well, it will never um, reach the range an actual truck needs. Um, but based on the orders we have seen from big companies, um, they seem to have the information that it needs to be uh, it seems to be feasible and it seems to be having the range and i think they will get more information as we have right now but based on that what we have seen um, it looks really great um, based on the range so um, i want to talk about the range anxiety which yeah almost um, yeah disappeared for the normal models like model 3 s x and y um for the truck um there will be some challenges for the um charging so we will we will see in the future more supercharger stations um for the um tesla semi because at some place it is getting pretty difficult to actually get to the uh, um to get to the uh, charging station or park the um tesla semi in a way that they are not blocking uh, like six or seven charging stations but back to the range um, for the range um, we have european statistics in this case i just take the european statistics and based on the range the tesla semi has which um, was stated at around 600 miles um, this actually covers close to 90 to 95 percent of the range a normal truck driver does per day so here's the thing it might be different to the united states i'm not um, a US citizen I don't know what kind of rules are over there but for the European and German market there are strict rules um, of how many hours a truck driver is allowed to drive and based on those hours and based on the distance an average truck driver can achieve during that time till he needs to make a break um, the range that Tesla SEMA is offering here could cover easily 90% so um, you also have to consider a lot of trucks for example in europe they um they get their um the food or like frozen um, packages for, for for supermarkets they get that and they drive maybe like a 200 kilometer range or like that and they are just um, going from one supplier to the next uh, um, one customer to the next customer so um, considering that the range is actually not as big as many think they are of course long range truck um, drivers but again here are rules that need to be covered and this makes it even easier to use the tesla sema because these rules um, push um, drivers to actually make brakes so this is the key here for selling the tesla sema and i think this will be a big big market here um, with the range they have already in place so guys if you do like my content and you like my channel feel free to subscribe to my channel it really helps me out and thank you for all your support in recent days and weeks thank you and have a wonderful weekend